today is, or this video in particular, it's going to start, um, there will be a couple videos after this, but this is kind of sort of going to talk about gaming, more specifically how I game, which is very, very casual. I am no serious gamer whatsoever, but I have been dabbling in a little bit of some other stuff recently, mainly including this neat little gadget right here. So those of you that don't know, this is the Backbone One. It is essentially a controller for your phone. Um, so you can play mobile games. Mobile games have been becoming very popular recently. Um, I wasn't always a big fan of actual mobile games. I'm still not a big fan of actual mobile games. Um, that's not what I use this for, but for what I do use it for, it is awesome. So let's take a look at it and talk about it real quick. Let me show you. So this is the backbone. It is just a big, it is just a video game controller for your phone. It extends out to fit multiple sizes of phones. Uh, it's very, very um, average layout. You have your offset thumbsticks here. You have a nice D-pad. You have A, B, X, Y buttons over here. Some of these other control buttons down here. These are all for different features in games. These can be start and stop buttons, menu buttons. This is the capture button um, so that you can do screen recording if you stream and or upload stuff to a YouTube channel or a Twitch channel, Discord, stuff like that. Um, this orange button, this is the backbone button. Um, it has its own dedicated button because there's, there's actually an app, an actual subscription service that you can pay for that comes with this controller. It's not required to actually use the controller, but it's something that you can take advantage of. Um, it just has a USB-C style connector that you can take. Take. You have an iPhone 15 series or newer. Just throw it in there like that, and then the backbone button powers on when it is telling you to unlock your iPhone for to use accessory. But just like that, and then you are gaming. It is also compatible with other USB-C devices. So, for instance, if you have an Android phone throw that bad boy in there and just like that you are using it works with your Android phone so it's super nice for that kind of stuff um so another fun another tidbit with the backbone one controller this is the second version of the backbone controller there's two different versions um ultimately there's two things that they changed about backbone control one controller uh, the first thing is just the d-pad the d-pad is a little different than the first generation um, it's a lot nicer um, and some of the buttons are a little more um, respond responsive to but those are both but basically the first thing is that they upgraded some of the buttons the second thing is that they made this case friendly so the first version of this was not case friendly there are these rubber bumpers in here that um, make it so that if you have a thick case on there, it doesn't actually fit. So you can actually, these are magnets. And then there's a little, you can't really see it, but there's little grooves in there. So you can get in there with your fingers. Maybe, if I can get it off. Yep, and then these are the little pieces and they have magnets in them just like that. So then you can take those out and they come with different size ones. I believe they come, these are the large sizes. You can tell by the L on there, on both of them. These are the large sizes and they come with a small size as well. But then what's great about that is now these bumpers are removed. So this, we have a pixel here that is in a D brand grip case. You take it and then the backbone actually fits the phone actually fits in the backbone with this case in there, which was not something that you could do with the first generation of the device. So that is pretty cool. Um, just like the first version, you can get this in USB type C, or if you have an iPhone 14 or older, you can get it in a lightning version as well. 
And then just on the bottom here, we have a pass-through USB Type-C port, and we have a pass-through audio jack so that you can plug in anything with a 3.5 millimeter cable. And that is basically the rundown of the Backbone One controller. So at the top of the video, I made a comment that I'm not really a big fan of mobile games. Not necessarily that I'm not a fan of gaming on my phone, I just I'm not into a lot of the mobile games like PUBG, Call of Duty Mobile, I don't think you can play Fortnite on the iPhone anymore still, but like those kind of games, I'm not really into that. Um, basically the games that I wanted to play are either on the Switch, which I have the Switch so I don't need anything special to do those, or um, anything like console wise that you can play on Steam, which I have been doing that recently. I, w I recently was gifted a um, gaming laptop, so I've been using that to play some games through Steam. Not like Steam Steam games, basically. I've been playing Spider-Man, okay? Um, I played Spider-Man Spider and Spider-Man Miles Morales. Recently they dropped the trailer for the PC remastered version of Spider-Man 2 that'll be coming at the beginning of January, which I'm excited to play that through PC. So uh, I've been using this is I don't always want to just sit around with a laptop on my lap. If I'm going to like, I'll sit with it at the desk and that's fine. But like if I'm sitting on my couch and I'm trying to play some games on like my laptop, um, the laptop obviously gets hot because it's playing games. And so I use this with my phone just like this. And I, hope, and I use Steam Link, and just like that, I am playing Spider-Man on my phone with my backbone. And it's really nice. What I really like about this is it's very much like a Switch style almost that I can sit down and play the games. Now, are there other options to actually play games in this style? Yes, there's Steam Deck. There's the ROG Ally. Those are the... Um, I mean, there's also the Lenovo Legion Go. Those are what I would consider the main, like, main players for the handheld PC gaming space, especially where in the U.S., if you're not, those are the things that are, I would say, most readily available that you can walk into a Best Buy and get any of those, except for the Steam Deck. You have to get that through Steam, but that's besides the point. Anyway, um, but those are also significantly more money, and because... I got the laptop and the backbone is 100 bucks which I get it 100 bucks is still a lot of money for a lot of people but it's significantly cheaper than going out and buying a 5 6 7 800 dollar gaming handheld. So, but that's besides the point. That is basically how I use my backbone. I through I use Steam Link connected to my PC which I have a decent internet connection at home. Um, I will say that the only thing that sucks about it is depending where I, I don't really play it during the day because obviously I'm working. If I am ever at a time that I could play it during the day, I'm not often where I have the greatest phone service. And so that is kind of a hindrance from it. Oddly enough, the best place that I get the best phone service is where I go to the dentist. And I've played Spider-Man a little bit sitting in the dentist's office, and that's about it. But, that's besides the point. It's basically all I have for this video. Um, and so I just kind of gaming the idea, the topic of all that. I've talked about my Switch before. Um, Long-time viewers of the channel will know that I originally started a series about building the Ultimate Switch kit that never went anywhere. Um, I meant for it to go somewhere, and then I joined the army and left for basic training, and I don't have a desire to finish building that switch kit. So, I'm so sorry if there's somebody waiting for the rest of that. It's not coming. I'm so sorry. But, I figured, so in this, I could kind of bring back the gaming aspect of it, just how I casually do it, and see how you guys feel of it, or make fun of me. Um... Someone made a comment on one of my last videos about the security cameras that basically all of my privacy is null and void because Amazon. And they do make a point, but also my counterpoint is cameras were cheap. And 
they work for what I need. So, you know what? You're right, but also I made choices. But that's bes that's besides the point. So that's all I got to say about the Backbone one. Super nice. I really like it. Let me know down in the comments what you think. If you have a Backbone, what is your experience? What kind of games do you play with your Backbone? Um, if you have something else that you use to play your games, let me know. If you think I'm silly for the way that I do it, let me know. It's fine. I may not answer you right away, but still let me know. I want to know what you guys' thoughts are. Drop them down in the comments below. I, I look through them while I read them. Um, that's all I have to say in this video. I hope you guys stay safe out there, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. See you later.